Here's a third example of how you find the dimensions of a triangle. So we're solving word problems with geometrical shapes and we're dealing with just one variable. So this is part of lesson 3b. And we're given a triangle, so let's draw a triangle. It could be any shaped triangle like so. And um, I have three sides, so let's call this the first side, let's call this the second side, and let's call this the third side. And now they tell us that the perimeter of this triangle is 35 inches. And then they tell us that the second side is one inch more than twice the first. The third side is one inch less than four times the first. Find the length of the three sides. So let's start off by assuming that the first is the smallest one. That seems to be an indi the indication here. So let x equal the length of the first side. So length of first side. All right, then how would you express the second side? And it says here that the second side is one inch more than twice the first. So twice the first, that's 2x, and one inch more would be plus 1. So that's twice the first plus 1 equals the length of the second side. Now, the third side. It is one inch less than four times the first. So four times x, that would be four times the first, and a one inch less, we subtract one from that, so that it equals the length of the third side. All right, so now we have the length of the first side, the second side, and the third side expressed in terms of x. Now we can go ahead and solve the problem. It says here that the triangle is 35 inches, that means the length of the first side plus the length of the second side plus the length of the third side equals the perimeter or, or uh, 35 inches. Okay, so that's kind of a, a graphical way to represent what we're trying to solve. Now we're going to plug in the meaning of each of those in terms of x. So x is the length of the first side plus 2x plus 1. The length of the second side plus 4x minus 1. Length of the third side and that adds up to the perimeter. So always get the feel here that we know what we're doing with substituting into each of the sides what the sides represent, are represented as in terms of x. So now we can go ahead and leave all the terms with x on one side and leave, move all the other numbers to the other side. So we have a, an x plus a 2x plus a 4x on the left side equals 35. Now we have plus 1 over here, we're going to move that across, that becomes a minus 1. And here we have a minus 1 that goes across, that becomes a plus 1. And so adding these together, we have 7x equals 35. And then dividing both sides by the coefficient in front of the x, x equals 5. So going back to our definitions, we said that x equals the length of the first side, so the first side was 5 inches long. The second side is twice the first side plus 1, so 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11, so that would be 11 inches. And then finally, the third side that says that 4 times the first side, that's 4 times 5, which is 20, minus 1, which is 19, is the length of the third side. So if we add these together, we do get 35, which looks like it's right. And that's how you do that problem.